All right, YouTube. So what I want to share with you is the easiest way I've found to take off these spark plug boots here on your GM vehicle. This is actually in my 2005 Corvette, but this would apply to any truck motor, car motor, the LS series slash Vortex series, 4.8, 5.3, six liter engines, etc. So first thing I'm gonna do is put on a pair of mechanics gloves because all of this stuff, the shielding for the exhaust is very thin metal very sharp you will cut yourself all up if you don't have a pair of gloves on so that's the first thing i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to do is remove the boot from the coil pack or from the coil itself i'm going to do that by just giving a little twist and a pull and that should come off pretty easily honestly so now to get the actual boot from down here that's where you're going to have the issue because you have i have a trouble getting my hands down in there there's not a lot of room to grab and then a lot of times these things are stuck in there. I don't know about you, but my car, this is a 2005 Corvette. I am the third, second or third owner on it. But I bought it when I had 47,000 miles. I would highly doubt anyone's done the plugs and wires. I've not done the plugs and wires, embarrassingly, <laughs> after 15 years. So these things are on there after thermal cycling for 15 years on and off, right? So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice, large, flat bladed screwdriver. And if you look here, there's a little recess in this metal thing. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you look on your car. And then what I'm gonna do is try to find something where I can get some leverage on it where I'm not gonna break it. So I don't wanna put it like on the tip of this plastic thing, the coil, because you don't wanna break the tip of your coil off. So I'm gonna try to put this in a way where it's on something metal or something like that, something a little more sturdy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my spark plug wire and I'm gonna pull up on it just a little bit, pull up. See, pull up and I'm gonna push down with this a little bit and then try to use leverage to pull that way and pop it out. I'm gonna do all that simultaneously. So pull up a little bit on the spark plug and then push down and out with your screwdriver. That's putting pressure on the screwdriver and then give it a little push. And your screwdriver is gonna slip off like that maybe once or twice, but it will come out. And there we go. So now what I'm not doing is I'm not cutting my hand all up all over this thing. And uh, it actually came off fairly easy. I don't think I damaged it because it came off cleanly from the spark plug. So I think we're good there. I could maybe reuse this on my junky old S10 or something because I got a 5.3 in that thing. But you see how easy it is. It was a lot better than trying to stick my hand down in there, cut myself all up, trying to wiggle around with it forever um you saw it took me three tries so it did take a couple tries but it didn't take me very long at all so i'll show you again just grab your boot there find something to pry against pull up a little push down a little and pry and that one came right off but it did break the spark plug wire so be aware of that um you're most likely going to break these when you're taking them off if they've been on the car for 15 years so you definitely want to make sure you have a new set of plug wires that go on there. Let's try this one. See what happens. Yep, and that one just broke. I just felt it. So that one's going to be a little bit more of a pain to get out. Actually, I think it's out now. Let's see. Nope, not yet. Just heard it pop so I think it's out yep there we go and that did break my wire but I think you get the idea I'm um, using a nice big flat breathed screwdriver to stick down in that little recess and prying out so you're gonna kind of use your spark plug wire as leverage to pull up push down to get a little purchase on that and then pop it out so a couple of other little tips when you're reassembling all this Make sure you get a little anti-seize compound to go on the threads of your new spark plugs because you don't want those seizing up in the engine. That would be a pain in the ass. Do not over torque your new spark plugs. Otherwise, they'll be a pain in the ass to come out when you need to take them out again. Get a little tube of dielectric grease. And what you're going to do with that is put a little bit 
inside of the boot here, put a little bit inside of the boot here, just kind of smear it around where it's gonna make a contact. And you may wanna put it in place and just kind of twist it around a little bit so it smears the grease around. That way next time you go to change your spark plugs, hopefully you don't ruin your freaking spark plug wires in the process. Because as I said, again, these were probably factory spark plug wires, never been off the car, I doubt, in 15 years. I know, it's crazy, but that is the case, and that's probably gonna be the case with your vehicle as well. The spark plugs nowadays, you can go about 100,000 miles before you change them. If your car's got a factory tune and all that stuff, which my Corvette does, I don't have anything done to it really. So those tips will help you out a lot also in the future. So your dielectric grease, anti-seize, and uh, again, the mechanics gloves when you're working around this uh, metal shroud here, because it is very sharp, it will cut you. I hope this helps you out, YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button. Share this video with anyone you think will help them out. Thank you, YouTube.